We selected Prime Week to be the week that we do the strike because this is where it's going to hit them. Because Prime Day is of no benefit to us and a benefit to the company. We have mandatory extra time that we're forced to work at no bonus to us and higher volume that we have to process. Normal volume on a regular day is between 50 and 60. On a prime day, we're easily up over 70,000 packages per day. They first off announced the prime week out of nowhere, unexpectedly. We have been asking them to pay us, so we felt it was unjust for us to be asking for something with no response and then to plan this prime week out of nowhere. No more. No more. No more. No more. We should not have done for profit. No one working for Amazon should be living in profit. Amazon workers in San Bernardino are setting the president for America, for the world. We're on strike because we had asked Amazon for a $5 raise and we had given them to the 10th of October to come through. Over 800 employees signed a petition. Those demands were not met. They were met with them hiring consultants. If I'm in there and I talk to someone, they're watching and as soon as I walk away, they go up to that person to, to try and figure out what I was talking to them about. They do everything in their power to try to divide us try to keep us from organizing. They're spending $3,200 a day on these consultants. Who's got the power? we got the power. What kind of power? We're walking out today for the safety-related concerns that we constantly have. The belt goes so fast. There's so many packages on the belt. You don't have any place to move the packages, so they fall on the floor. They tell us to throw the packages on the ground so we can come back to them later. Then you're tripping over the packages and they have no safety personnel on the premises on Saturdays and Sundays. We had a worker who herniated his disc. Instead of management advising him on the proper steps to file the injury report, they told him to use his personal time to go home. We're disposable. You know, they just throw us away and get another one. We're easily replaced. Certain safety violations increase productivity. So they let us get away with the safety violations because it gets them the product to the trucks at the end of the day. Unfortunately, right now, some Amazon employees are sleeping in their cars. Well, as far as the union bus attack is, they deal too. I don't even know how you get started. A lot of it is discouraging employees, threatening them, violating their federal rights. I had management tell me this morning alone, just walking around, oh, well, you can do this as long as it's off the clock, or they got a clock out, or you're going to be terminated, or your time is going to be taken, or TOT. People need the money. So they're manipulating you, and the workers are afraid. They just told us in stand up this morning that we're going to get fired. That's against the law. They're having a barbecue today. We have to pay for the vendors that they actually provide for us. They want the workers to try to forget about this and all the problems that we have. It was a real issue. They want to seem like now they support us. We want safety for retaliation! It's very encouraging to see that not only us, but you know, fulfillment centers, warehouses across the nation are, are also st deciding to stand up and fight for their rights for what they deserve. I look forward to the day when it's literally, you know that smile from A to Z, when they could put it on a, on a map of the country and they show unionized Amazons from Cali to New York. Their strength in numbers, and if you don't want it to be disposable, you need to be out here with us.